Hey guys, how you doing? VT Meister here. Hope all is well. Well, today I'm shooting this video to show you some of the results from our new uh, mini split heat pump that we installed earlier in February. And uh, basically, we've been away for over a week on um, winter break on a vacation to the south or to more warmer places. And we all we did was run the heat pump. So I want to show you that energy uh, consumption. Now I don't have an energy monitor, but uh, I do have a smart meter. And this is important because um, the baseline of the energy that we used over the past week will help set the uh, stage for how much solar I need to install later this spring to offset the energy use of the heat pump. So check it out. All right, so what we're looking at here now is some data usage from our smart meter, which is a part of our power company from GMP, and this shows us what we use, what we sent uh, back to GMP from net metering and so forth. So you got a couple uh, different colors here. Basically, if I just click on a color here, you can see it's here's May 2015. We consumed 483, generated 1,085, return 819. And for every credit we send back uh, of kilowatts, we get a credit. Um, so one kilowatt is worth six cents uh, gross. And then we get uh, kilowatt per kilowatt credit. So right now we're paying almost 15 cents a kilowatt. So when I sell one back, I get 15 cents plus the six cents. So it's really worth 21 cents. And the six cents can be used uh, to offset other parts of your energy bill for daily charges and things like that. I want to show you that nice baseline data I gathered when we were gone on our winter break and we left on the 20th and this is when I engaged the heat pump and ran it for uh, roughly eight days straight and we did have someone hell sitting for us and we're very thankful for that. Uh, the big factor was that our electric car, Nissan Leaf, was away. So that's uh, kind of nice because it takes out that equation of how much energy the car uses uh, and so forth. So you can look at each day what we use and so forth. You can stop the video later if you want to look at the daily consumption and what we sent back. We had a couple of good solar days, but mostly it was cloudy or snowing and stuff like that. And then you can look at the temperatures here. Also, you see one day here on the 23rd, it was super chilly here. Uh, average temperature was 2.71 degrees. Um, so as you can see here, let's let's go ahead and click on one of these days, and uh, I'll show you the kind of the daily consumption of what we used and so forth. So let's go ahead and let's check out uh, maybe the 24th. Now the 24th is interesting because it was a day where the person who was watching our house, um, he had to leave for the afternoon, went out and did things. Um, and pretty much no one was here. So that kind of gives a nice uh, picture of what the house was using when no one was around and so forth, as we can see. And on the 24th, the temperature was average of 27 degrees. Let's turn on that data here. And um, so let's look at the, uh, the temperatures at night or early in the morning. So we're using a roughly um, just over a kilowatt, sometimes a little bit less than two kilowatts an hour. And I'll tell you right now that I've figured out that the heat pump per hour running takes about a kilowatt when the temperature is around 30 degrees. And I can show you how I know that is because um, if I look at a day where I'm not running the heat pump, let's go up to, let's say, maybe the third where the temperature is, is about 25 degrees, so roughly the same here. We'll look at the daily usage for the same time period here as it, load, as it loads up. As you can see here, look at the energy consumption. It's about a kilowatt off, okay? You get these bumps right here, 2.7 and 2.16. These are when we wake up in the morning, we get going and so forth. So there you go, you can see from the data here, from this date, from February 3rd, back to, let's say, the 24th, you can see the difference in what the heat pump uh, used for the overall usage for kilowatts. Now, let's go to a different day where it was much colder here. So let's go to that day right here, the 23rd, where it was an average of, of 2 degrees for the day and let's see what the heat pump was was drawing here again we'll look at the evening hours or the late uh, early morning hours and see the difference so on these hours here you can see that the temperature is really low I would say the heat pump is drawing at least two kilowatts per hour 
All right, so finishing up this video here, I hope this uh, video has helped to show that uh, without an energy meter, uh, it's still possible to read the, uh, the energy consumption of the heat pump. Now, again, this is important because I need to know what the heat pump is drawing in order to plan for new solar uh, for the offset. And what it looks like right now is about a kilowatt uh, per hour when the temperatures aren't too cold and about two kilowatts an hour um, if it's super cold temperatures uh, below five degrees and so forth. As the heat pump um, operates in lower temperatures, it becomes less efficient, but in higher temperatures, it's super efficient. It could be up to 300%, over 300% efficient, which is really cool. So every watt I put in, I get three watts out and so forth. Um, so let's take a look here. This is what I'm planning on doing for solar, at least another 10 panels. Um, this will create on average about 3,500 kilowatts of uh, power that uh, I can send back to the utility company and receive credit, uh, both credit for credit, 15 cents plus the six cents uh, gross for each kilowatt. And that will help offset the energy use. Um, do we want to use heat pump all the time? Not really. Um, we enjoy uh, burning wood pellets. Uh, they're renewable and they work great for, on super cold days. All right, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Looking forward to uh, collecting more data. So eventually I'm going to get an energy monitoring system so I can monitor each device that uh, is important in the house, uh, whether it's the heat pump or it's electric car, uh, things like that. I want to have that data. And, but until then, uh, figuring out kind of the uh, doing it the hard way is also kind of cool because it you know makes you work a little bit. And uh, I certainly enjoy that. Enjoy looking at the numbers. So there we go. Um, energy consumption and usage from the heat pump you need to know the data before you can build new solar. Also, have to figure in air conditioning off the heat pump, what that draws for electricity and so forth. Just want to mention that the overall goal here is to use solar, um, solar voltaic to heat and cool our house. And um, adding more solar is uh, it makes sense to offset the energy uh, use from the heat pump and eventually to add more heat pumps to the house, more mini splits. So we can be 100% uh, green and sustainable. All right, so we'll uh, catch you next time, and uh, take care.